My ENME 351 final project, I created an automated pop pong machine. Pop pong is a two player game in which the objective is to hit all of your balls from your side onto the opponent's side of the game. The game is over when you have no balls left on your side. Typically, these would be hit through a divider such as this. However, for the purposes of automating this, this barrier has been removed. Major components of this project are the game field and its sensors, the lever arm towers that actuate the machine side of the game, the circuitry and Arduino that power and link the two, and the Arduino and processing code that dictate the logic of the response and the display to the screen. I will discuss each of these in order. Here you can better see the attachment of the sonar sensors on both the machine side and the player side. In both cases, they were mounted overhead using electrical tape in order to make sure that they'd be out of the way of both the player and the machine. Additionally, electrical tape was used for wire management, and each sonar was placed in a position such that it had a direct line of sight to the pocket where a ball might fill a position. Here's another angle of some of the sonar mounting, this time looking down from the player's side towards the machine's side, and with one of the balls removed so that the difference between a sonar seeing a pocket and seeing a ball can be clearly shown. The next major subsystem is the actuation component. It consists of three towers, each with an individual servo motor that controls the angular position of each of these ar lever arms, which are used to strike the bumpers based on the servo input. Each one strikes one individual bumper, as can be seen here. Additionally, we have this extra swinging feature here on some of these shorter ones to give the arms extra momentum as they swing down so that they can hit with greater force. The final physical subsystem consists of the electrical components. In this portion of the circuit, there is a button input used to begin the match against the machine, as well as individual six volt power supplies going to individual power rails for each servo motor. Additionally, over on this side of the circuit, we have the third power supply for the third silver motor, as well as an individual power rail for it and for the five volts from the Arduino, which is used to power each of the sonars. As for the digital inputs and outputs, they are used to control the timing signals to the servo motors, as well as to generate the echo signals for the sonars. Additionally, digital inputs, as well as a few analog inputs, are used for the trig pin of the sonars. For a basic overview of the Arduino program, we take a look at the loop function. It first waits for button input and sends this information to processing. Then sequentially takes average sonar readings, which it sends on to processing and determines based on comparison with the cutoff, whether or not to actuate each servo. The game ends when either side detects no filled positions. For an overview of the processing code, we take a look at the draw function. It continuously checks the game state until it is informed by the Arduino that the game has begun. It then continuously reads in the sonar values and uses these to update the field and determine the winner when the game ends. Throughout this process, the status bar is updated accordingly. Once the game is over, it waits five seconds before resetting for a new game. Here's a closer look at the game display created in processing. Here you can see the green field of play with three circles on either side to represent the state of the pockets on both the player's and the machine's side. Currently, there is also the status bar, which is set to wait for the button to be pressed to begin. Once I press the button, the game begins playing, and the status of the pockets will update as I begin to hit them over from one side. These statuses will update until eventually one side is entirely empty, and this will correspond to the game being over. The winning side will be displayed in the status bar, and after a few seconds, the game will be reset so that it can be played again with the push of the button. Here's a demonstration of the machine winning unopposed. Here's a demonstration of the machine playing against a real opponent. I'll give it a bit of a head start to begin. <laughs> 